Hey there guys, my name is Danny Till and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm painting a lemon with watercolours. I'm using the Nicador Brilliant Watercolour Set. These are the colours that I'll be using and the two discs that I'll be using. Please note that the recording is live and a lot of the conversation is to group members on the Facebook page Let It Run Watercolour Art. So with the lemon today, I've just taken one off the tree um, and what I'm looking at is a loose painting of the lemon. We've got obviously the lemon and it's got different sort of bumps and grooves and bits and pieces and the leaves are really quite large. Um, so the perspective I'm going to be seeing it sitting here on my table is totally different to what you guys are going to see but I'll work with the, the actual visual that I'm seeing and I'm only going to take some elements from the actual lemon and kind of make it a little bit more arty than, than um, realistic because one, don't have time for realistic and two, um, I think a nice flowing one would be great. So ideally what I want to do is I want to take the lemon part of the painting first and work kind of map out with my fingers where I'm going to pop the lemon so about here because the leaves are going to take up about here and here so visually I'm sort of scanning my paper and working out where I'm going to actually put the lemon um, so that I don't run out of room <clears throat> Ideally, um, I would like to do it freehand, but just for the sake of the group, I'd like to just pop in with a pencil and perhaps do some um, outline work so that we get the gist of where we're going with, with this little tutorial. Um, okay, so ideally, the, it's, it's quite bumpy, the lemon, and it's got the little stalky bit. So I'm gonna start with that little stalky bit, and I'm going to come out where it sort of connects to the tree and there's a little bump. And then I'm gonna come in just roughly it's like a very awkward shape it's not exactly the lemon itself is not a perfect shape sort of comes in does a little bit of a kissy face and then it comes around and then from that we're going to have a leaf coming out that way so all I'm doing is just the, the central bit and then I'm going to have that sort of bit there and I'm going to work on this leaf turning upwards and work out this veiny leaf there and then there's another one in the background which we see a little bit of and he is going to sort of come out there. So they're my lines. If anyone can make um, any sense of this. My hands are hurting um, a little bit. They're very very swollen at the moment but that's okay. Um, because I'm stubborn so we're just gonna run with doing this there's five more days plus I enjoy the painting side of things so we're here for for the um, long haul all right one lemon so I'm getting the mop brush here size 3 is what I've got and I'm popping it in straight into the yellow okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come in with the darker areas first so what I'm seeing as darker and at the moment I've got this area here that I'm seeing is darker, the central bit of the lemon that I'm seeing as a darker point. My kissy, pouty area of the lemon I'm seeing as a darker value and around here and here. They're the areas that I'm actually seeing that the lemon has got a, a little bit more depth. Hey there Kathy, welcome. Now. Um, in saying that, I'm going to now just leave that for a second and then work again. I'm going to pick up some yellow and I'm just going to work on this stalky bit, stem bit. And the reason I'm coming in with yellow is because there is yellow in my actual live linen. So that's all I'm doing there. And then I'm going to wash out that mop, pat it dry and then come in with this green. And just roughly draw in the leaf here and do the same here, that vein in the middle. And I actually might just leave it as two instead of the third one, which I'm, I've got here. I don't want to overcomplicate anything at the moment. So now I'm going to come in just with the water 
and work on that leaf. So I'm just shaping what I'm seeing with this leaf and then I'm going to bring in some colour. So the leaf is sort of a bit on the squiggly side. It's got some texture on the bottom of those leaves and kind of connects up into there. I'm going to do the same on this side. So the leaf comes out. This is what I'm seeing. It's a little bit jagged. It's a little bit sort of eaten off something torn and just plonk that in there. Okay so ideally now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my lemon area completely and have some fun with dropping some colours in. shape of my lemon but that's okay and now I'm just going to start dropping some some color in and working my way around so I've got some darker areas got some darker areas up here and I'm just going to pop in a variety of of yellows just dropping in that color that's all I'm doing dropping it in and creating some texture. Not too hard. Using the tip of the mop brush just to get a little bit more of a, a fatter end. I'm coming in with a little bit of orange now. Dropping that in. And again I'm leaving bits of um, white which are very important to do when you are painting. White is your friend, so it's paper towel. And don't be afraid to sketch in things with pencil and then erase them. It's no big deal. You can do that. It's not against the law to do so. Pencil marks will erase out of your um, paper if you press lightly. Okay, so now I'm just going to come in with my greens. Now, whilst I'm chatting away, oh sorry, a little bit of yellow first. Whilst I'm chatting away with you guys, I'd like to say that the Mikador giveaway starts tonight, my time, 6pm. It is an international wide giveaway. Um, I will be choosing the winners for the international side of things. And um, the packs are really cool. Now I'm hoping that everyone joins, joins um, on board and ideally you're going to be liking my page um, which is my art page um, these are the requests from Mikador themselves and you are going to be liking the Mikador page and you are going to be commenting on the post that I give the link to um, everything's free the shipping's free the giveaway is real um, it's exciting um, it'll be a lot of fun and I hope that you guys share and I believe that every comment will be and um, every tag will be an entry um, to the competition. I think there is two or three sets which will be the Mikador paints, some paper and some, some brushes. So that's just a heads up of, of what will be happening. Now I'm just, come, I'm just talking too much and not explaining what I'm doing here. I'm just looking at the values of the leaf and seeing where I've got the lighter and darker values and then I'm just playing around with colour and I want to use a variety of greens and when you do the leaves on this one I want you guys to actually think about choosing some different greens and not staying with the same green and intensifying the values of your work and making it a little bit more arty by doing so. And I'll pop in some yellow. So we're just playing here and dropping. Well, we've already got our outline, so we're just dropping in colour at the moment. Um, at the moment, I don't know anything with respect to um, when they're planning to pop in um, the Mikador range into the States, but I do know that they're keen to promote the 
product via the page and see what you guys think of it so therefore that's why the giveaway is happening so it's pretty exciting um, now back to the lemon just briefly um, we're leaving leaving these values here and what I might do is I'm just going to use a little bit of this green that I've used in the leaves I'm just going to just gently pop in some of that into the lemon now it's okay to do so now my page is wet the water is sort of dancing on the top so that's going to give me this opportunity now to sort of move that green around and create some darker values in the lemon itself now I hope that you guys um, come on board with this giveaway and share and like like crazy um, because that kind of makes me look good <laughs> so if we can do that that'd be awesome now enough of that we're going to pop in a little bit more yellow and just we're dropping it in at the moment. Hey there, Sharon. And I'm just keeping some of those values, the white um, highlights, not painted. And I'm doing so with the leaves as well. I'm leaving some areas. I wanna make it look a little bit arty. I'm gonna come in with some blue shortly and possibly some purple. So I'm just increasing the, the darker values here. Super loose is what we're working on and remember there's some jagged lines here so we want to accentuate those and bring out some of this green. Now I've left that sort of bottom area a little bit um, open and that is for some highlights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a little bit of purple and I'm going to use, I think they call it a violet or a lavender. I'm just picking that up straight off the palette and I'm bringing that in underneath. I might need a little bit more than that. Just underneath the lemon itself. And that's going to bleed through and that's okay with me. I want it to sort of bleed in with that yellow to create a bit of a shadow. And then I want to sort of soften that out. And let that water sort of work its way around. And then as that dries, we'll be able to define the lines a little bit better. So I'm just popping in a little bit more of that purple. Drawing it out. It's all about being artistic and not being a bit um, too worried about your actual um, paint technique at the moment. I don't want anyone to sort of worry about perfection. I want everyone to just be a bit looser um, and just look for, for darks and lights in your work. And I'm just going to pick up some of that water now just so that I can come in and go a little bit dark in some areas without it bleeding too much. I'm just coming in with a little bit more purple. So it's not always about realistic. If that's where you're going, that's fine. But, you know, for me, this this one is just something to, to watch the, the water run around the paper and um, get that feel of, of looseness. And then I'm just going to come in with a little bit more of this yellow. And then I'm going to pick up up the yellow because it's just bleeding through where I don't want it to and then as this dries it will dry lighter so the whole idea is that you come back and you do another layer so for more intense colors now when I said I was going to pop in a little bit of blue I'm just going to take a little bit of blue <coughs> excuse me and just pop it in creating Excuse me. Just creating some interest and focal points on this lemon. Who would have thought a lemon could be so interesting? And we're going to create, come in and create some of that shadow. But we sort of want to drop that colour in now. 
there's that little area here that sort of connects the lemon. So I'm just coming in with that blue. And then I'm going to just take the paper towel, lightly dab it. And again, just any value that you've got a little that you want to darken a little bit, I'm just going to come in with the blue. That way we're creating a little bit of texture and um, a little bit of interest. So we're not painting the entire leaf. And it's been broken off, the leaf itself, um, the branch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rigger and bring it to the party. And just take a little bit and see if I can move that green up where it's actually broken off. So you've got that sort of broken off look. Now one, air, one side's a bit longer than the other. So I'll come in with a little bit more yellow and curve that around. And then come in with that. And then just mingle it in with some more green. A little bit more blue. <coughs> Excuse me. So you've got that sort of broken off look that we're going for there. And then now that I've got the rigger in hand, I won't be able to help myself. I'll just pop in some more darker lines. So when you're doing leaves and things like that, think of other colours that you can introduce into the colour scheme. Think of, um, you know, blues, greens, yellows, they all work together really well. Now, down here, I'm just going to add in some more shadow. And this is where you can sort of really get into your layers and create something magical. So you're going to have that area that's darker underneath, much, much darker. So I might even bring in a little bit of blue. That's just going to set things right off. And just coming in there and then just mingling and merging that into the already purple that's sort of there but I don't want too much of this dark blue but just enough so see how that's sort of popping that lemon up now which is great now just for reference I'm painting this as I would paint it there is no rule on how you should paint it. This is just a suggestion. Um, this is my very first lemon that I've painted. Now I'm going to come in with that blue. It's still on my brush. And I'm just going to bring in that cut a few dots of that darker blue. And as you dot that in, remember where you saw that original... Um, shadow and the grooves and the bumps and paper's still wet so that's allowing it sort of to disperse bring in some more water and wash it out if it's getting too dark and again work out what you want to do there i'm going to come in with a little bit more purple and just do the same sort of dot technique around here And bring in some more water. I really want that purple to sort of disperse around. So as you layer this, you're going to get different textures, you're going to get different values, you're going to get really good points of interest. Um, and don't be afraid to be experimental. So again, I'm just popping in some sort of dotty effects. To give this guy a little bit more interest. Just 
creating a, a highlight there. Just changing the shape a little bit to what makes me happy. And there you pretty much have it. I don't know how well you guys can see that on screen. Um, but yeah, one lemon straight off the tree. Not overly hard. Um, again, I didn't do that top leaf. I didn't want to go into the detail of that top leaf today. But you can add more or less leaves as you go. As you play around with it, you'll work out the values you want to increase. When I talk talking about values too, it's just the dark and light of your work. Cleaning up those edges a little bit. And there you have it. Super, super easy. Really is easy. Don't worry about your shape too much. Worry about your your whites and leaving them um, basically white on your page and let them work for you, the negative space. You don't always have to have colour everywhere and saturate your page. I hope you've enjoyed this quickie. Um, and hopefully I'll see a few lemons um, on board. And then I think we've got another five or so um, quick tutorials. And then we are back to normal. So we'll see what happens. Maybe one live every now and then so we don't bore you too much. Alrighty, enjoy. And I shall catch you guys later. Remember, we have the Mikador giveaway coming up. So share 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 um tag 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 um i think it'll be a lot of fun and i get to choose the the winners so um that's kind of exciting too because specifically i do want to choose people who are overseas um, and mikador will be choosing australian winners from my knowledge all right enjoy guys and i will see you on the flip side thank you